The intricate bays of the Scottish coast present a different challenge altogether. For these Dutch marines, training here enables them to practice tactical insertions and extractions in different conditions than they might find back home. Ons motto, qua tijd over, zo wijd de wereld strekt, over wat wil, moeten wij ingezet kunnen worden onder wat voor omstandigheden, terrein of weer dan ook. First they're inserted via helicopter. Then they must make their way through the Scottish marshland. To a beach extraction point, where a landing craft will take them back to their ship. Maar iedere operatie die gevoerd zijn zijn altijd gevaren die onder hoek kunnen kijken. Simpele gevaren zoals een veranderende sea state die ervoor zorgt dat het debarkeren van een kleine landingsvaartuig het moeilijk maakt. Daarnaast, je gaat simpelweg een vijandelijk gebied in vanuit een bootje. De vijand kan je van ver af aanzien komen. Dat kan je zeer kwetsbaar maken. Maar op dit exercise zijn de Dutch niet alleen. A separate amphibious insertion that work here alongside Marines from Germany. Wij zullen zelf als kleine corps binnen Nederland niet tot alle mogelijkheden uh, kunnen beschikken wanneer wij willen oefenen, maar op het moment dat wij kunnen samenwerken met de Amerikanen, met de Duitsers die meer of andere voertuigen dan wij gebruiken, kunnen wij alleen maar eigenlijk onze bereikheid in de wereld vergroten. Dus ik denk dat dat zeker wel een belangrijk aspect is om, uh, om samen te werken in de NAVO. Training exercises like this one allow Marines from different NATO nations to work together, learning each other's techniques and practices. And this kind of cooperation can be found all over the Alliance. NATO allies often host one another to maximize training potential. Here in Lithuania, the winding rivers and their dense tree lines present an opportunity for these Portuguese Marines to practice river-based amphibious landings. Sim, os fuzileiros da Marinha Portuguesa conduzem uma operação anfíbia. Na fase 1, verificamos todo o material, equipamento, fazemos a camuflagem adequada ao meio ambiente. Fase 2. Nesta fase, iremos fazer a projeção pelos meios de bote Zebra 3 do Corpo de Fuzileiros. Fase 3. Os elementos do reconhecimento irão ser projetados por meios de subsuperfície, garantindo assim a sua aproximação até à praia de desembarque. Fase 4. Nesta fase, é crucial que os elementos consigam garantir a segurança da praia, por forma de poder mandar avançar nos elementos do grupo de assalto. Aqui é com praia reconhecida, segura e pronta para a força de desembarque. Desculpe. Faz sim. O grupo de assalto prepara-se e nos botes de 3 irá efetuar um desembarque anfíbio. Faz 6. Nesta fase, todos os elementos movimentam-se para o objetivo, por forma de garantir um deslocamento até a área do objetivo. Um raio de filho requer surpresa até o último momento. Por isso, este tipo de ação é curto, cirúrgico e conciso. The biggest contributor to NATO's marine capability with almost 180,000 active personnel is the United States Marine Corps. Allied uh, Marine community, we share a common heritage and history uh, as soldiers of the sea. We're accustomed to having to be ready to pick up and move uh, to a crisis area at a moment's notice in order to meet and accomplish the mission. Training in European countries with European Marines strengthens the bond between the Marine forces from different continents and ensures that if a crisis was to strike, they would be able to work together. We've been here since 1980, so there's a legacy and history of cooperation with our allies in the area. I'd say the best part of my job and then the best days are when I get to either sit down with or work remotely with Marine and Naval countries across uh, Europe. And in a traditionally male-dominated branch of the military, the United States in 2016 opened up combat roles in the Marine Corps to women. I myself am joined by a 
myriad of other females here in roles such as logistics, flight controllers, engineer, female artillery officer here. That's just the officer side of things. On the enlisted side of things, I have female truck operators, boat operators. Having more females to look up to as role models has been extremely empowering. It takes a special type of person to become a Marine. What makes the Marine special is the guys that are in it, the making things happen, the, the intelligent Marine who can think for himself and apply himself in a tough environment like this. A spirit of togetherness and camaraderie. You are toch onderdeel van een kleine selecte groep binnen Defensie die zich op hele mooie plekken in de wereld in kan laten zetten. They are one of NATO's most respected assets. Een fusileur requiert spirit sacrificio, requiert dedication and determination. Ready to respond to any crisis, any time. I am part of something that's bigger than myself and I take pride in the fact that I'm doing something that so few other individuals choose to do. Our protection is their defining purpose. They are the Marines of NATO. They are perhaps one of any Navy's most renowned assets. As amphibious troops, we bridge that gap from, from the sea to the land. They are mobile, amphibious and highly trained. It is a fighting force that is able to land in places where other conventional warfare cannot be handled. They are known under various pseudonyms, devil dogs, bootnecks, black devils, fujos and many more. É importante confiar uns nos outros. Só a confiança nos traz o sucesso para a missão. They are deployable by sea and by air and able to operate on different terrains under all weather conditions. Worden van de woestijn tot in de bergen kunnen wij ingezet worden en overal waar mensen zijn kunnen zich conflicten ontwikkelen. They are the Marines. The unforgiving fjords and mountains of Norway, where temperatures reach minus 35 degrees Celsius, is for many a landscape to be feared and avoided. But for the UK's Royal Marine Commandos, it presents an ideal training ground. The Royal Marines are Arctic specialists, so we're out here every winter honing these skills and uh, this huge coastline up in Norway. So. Being able to operate from the boats adds so much to what we can do on the land. The relationship between Norway and the Royal Marines stretches back to World War II, when British commandos orchestrated a series of raids on the Nazi-occupied Norwegian coast. The Royal Marines started as the, the infantry of the Navy and then developed quite a lot through World War II, taking on that commando aspect, and that's the, the legacy of the Royal Marines. Norway and the United Kingdom are now close NATO allies. For this group of commandos, the freezing conditions on the Norwegian coastline presents a challenging opportunity to conduct drills in their orcs or offshore raiding craft. So the orc is our jet boat and we've got two variants. We've got the troop carrying variant which can take six people and deliver them onto a beach and we've also got the, the fire support variant. And that's our kind of protection while we're out in the water. But in places and conditions like these, it wouldn't just be the enemy that they'd have to contend with. The temperature and the weather, obviously the biggest challenge out here, uh, especially out in the water, because we've got the wind chill as well as obviously the water that freezes instantly as well. And if we're heading off down the fjord at a boat group at like 30 knots into a 30 knot wind, it can quickly be come down to minus 60 plus. So we've got to take that into consideration as well. Some 1,700 kilometers away from the icy conditions in the Norwegian Arctic, the rugged cliffs and intricate bays of the Scottish coast present a different challenge altogether. For these Dutch Marines, training here enables them to practice tactical insertions and extractions in different conditions than they might find back home. Ons motto, qua tijd over, zo wij de wereld strekt, overal terug moeten wij ingezet kunnen worden onder wat voor omstandigheden. 
terrain or veered on out. First they're inserted via helicopter. Then they must make their way through the Scottish marshland to a beach extraction point where a landing craft will take them back to their ship. Maar iedere operatie die je voert zijn er altijd waren die om de hoek kunnen kijken. Simpele gevaren zoals een veranderende sea state die ervoor zorgt dat het debarkeren van een kleine landingsvaartuig het moeilijk maakt. Daarnaast, je gaat simpelweg een vijandig gebied in vanuit een bootje. De vijand kan je van ver af aan zien komen. Dat kan je zeer kwetsbaar maken. But on this exercise, the Dutch aren't alone. In a separate amphibious insertion, they're working alongside marines from Germany. Wij zullen zelf als kleine korps binnen Nederland niet tot alle mogelijkheden uh, kunnen beschikken wanneer wij willen oefenen, maar op het moment dat wij kunnen samenwerken met de Amerikanen, met de Duitsers die meer of andere voertuigen dan wij gebruiken, kunnen wij alleen maar eigenlijk onze bereikheid in de wereld vergroten. Dus ik denk dat dat zeker wel een belangrijk aspect is om, uh, om samen te werken in de NAVO. Training exercises like this one allow Marines from different NATO nations to work together, learning each other's techniques and practices. And this kind of cooperation can be found all over the Alliance. NATO allies often host one another to maximize training potential. Here in Lithuania, the winding rivers and their dense tree lines present an opportunity for these Portuguese marines to practice river-based amphibious landings. Sim, os fuzileiros da Marinha Portuguesa conduzem uma operação amfíbia. 